If you happen upon a possessed person, my advice would be to just leave them to their own devices. YouTuber Luan Mendez and his crew encountered this woman, who seems to be under the spell of possession. Let's see what happens. Well, no harm came to the team. It seems to me that it very well could have. And now that they've intervened, who knows what might come back to bite them. We all wish we could see our dearly departed loved ones one last time. Well, a friend of Redditor BRUUUHUHUHUHUBHUHUHU was lucky enough to have one last visit from her recently passed away grandma, but it's super creepy. <laughs> This video was captured in Romania. Denisa's grandma had recently passed away and was buried. When Denisa heard this creepy voice, she immediately began filming. Watch for the woman's face at the end. Denisa says the voice was her grandma's and this face looks like hers. I know from past research that an entity who looks and sounds like someone familiar is often a demon pretending. So if I were Denisa, I wouldn't approach grandma. Does Redditor Shailanshna's cat have a ghostly nighttime friend? Security camera footage captured this mysterious figure in the upper left corner of the camera. My first thought is a spider leg or something on the lens, but the Redditor says they immediately checked and there were no bugs in sight. What do you make of this? Is the cat cursed, as some are suggesting in the comments? If it's not a bug, I have no clue what it could be. Are you afraid of what the future holds? Then hold on to your seat because this next video has both. TikToker John Buckhouse shares a video of Alexa predicting what will happen in Florida in two years. Alexa, what happens to Florida in 2025? On September 4th, 2025 at 3.08 p.m. Florida will be hit by a Category 5 hurricane with winds as high as 205 miles per hour. Miami will be completely destroyed. Alexa's response is eerily specific. Although this makes me want to hide in the comments, everyone else in the comments is of another mind. They want Alexa to predict what happens in their city or state. Would you want to know? I don't think I would. After all, ignorance is bliss. Many urban explorers come across fascinating finds and interesting histories, but urban exploring can sometimes turn up pure horror. That's what happened in the case of YouTuber Adam Mark Explores when he delved into this abandoned and in house hidden in the woods and frozen in time. Stone. Stone with the iron banisters. Spiral. No, it's got a balcony too. And this is just like a normal farmhouse here. It's cra crazy. Adam finds odds and ends and all sorts of knickknacks in the home. I can't even tell what that is. Something from a chemist though. It says chemist on it. So God knows what that is. But that looks so old. Let's see if there's anything left. Just more little bottles. Some broken bits in there as well, which is a shame. He also comes across evidence that kids once lived there. Check out this rocking horse. Look at him just chilling. Obviously there was children here at one point. But it's this discovery that's really creeping me out. Do it for me. <gasps> oh my days. What? It's the pet dog. 
Considering the dog's shiny glass eyes, I want to say this thing is taxidermied, but that's mostly because I don't want to believe that this poor creature was somehow frozen alive within this home. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, while ghost hunting in Fort Langley, BC, Redditor official ECYT captured some creepy EVPs, but it was only when editing the footage that he discovered loads of other paranormal activity. First, introductions. Somehow, the ghosts know the crew by name. So... Your name. It literally just said your name just now. Wow. Are you trying to talk to Gabriel? It said your name. That, out of all the names? That's pretty specific. Gabriel doesn't seem too impressed, honestly. I'd be freaking out in this situation, especially after seeing this. Did you see that? I saw something in that window just now window just now In my opinion, the figure that appears to peek out from the side could just be the outline of another arching window on the opposite wall. The camera shifts, which could elicit the peeking motion, but the atmosphere remains creepy. You heard that? I heard that. We just walked by there, there was like nothing over there. Did you see it? If they really did see a shadow person, maybe I was wrong about that church figure. Maybe it followed them. At over 160 years old, the May Stringer House is now known as the Hernando Heritage Museum, but it is best known as one of the most haunted houses in Florida. YouTube team, Crossing Art Paranormal, investigate the historic home and capture some poltergeist activity while wearing a back body cam. Is Mr. Nasty flipping through the directory? The team writes that the directory is made of metal with paper inserts and is therefore too heavy to be moved by air currents. It looks to me like Mr. Nasty is searching for a way to curse us all. This is an Estee session gone wrong. YouTube team outsider Paranormal SWPA awakens something in the Denny house that they'll soon wish would go back to sleep. First, some loud banging. You're an old man? Tell him the truck. What's up with truck? And one more. You are, and he will tell us. As one of the team checks to see what's going on in the kitchen, this happens. Someone just walked by me. What the fuck? What the Oh, dude, it's a ghost. And then a door alarm goes off. Dude, what? Take your stuff off. What? Take your stuff off. What the that was upstairs. Do you hear that? Did the work thing? The door thing just yeah. went off upstairs. When they attempt to enter the kitchen, this happens. Stick your hand out and walk through the kitchen. Why? It's blocked. Oh my! We kept, we kept hearing stuff. And soon they discover what's blocking it. That table. How's a kid like that? According to the team, there were no footprints in the snow outside the entry door, and they also checked with the neighbors to see if they'd seen anyone, but nobody had. So, who tried to block their exit? I think a spirit blocked them in, and if so, they may have had even more nefarious intentions than what was captured here. While in the witch's house, YouTuber Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal discovers a living Rognet doll. The doll instantly puts Dennis on edge. <laughs> He places a walkie-talkie in the room with the doll. And 
and he listens back to a recording he made. Так, вытаскиваем микрофон. The doll is watching. While he's in the room with it, he hears something in the next room. But he finds nothing, though it seems like this creepy doll is harmless. There is something about it that raises my hair on end. Dennis packs it up and returns it home, but he does not enjoy the doll's company. Она уже оказалась там на диване. Все. Сейчас я замотаю, как она была. Положу ее в сумку и заберу с собой. Given these events though, I'd say that's understandable. I've got a challenge for you. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. After renting a Verbo for the weekend, YouTube team FV family winds up in this creepy cabin in the woods, and that's when things get real. They find a hole in the wall that may be there for nefarious purposes. That's like perfect for a spy camera. What do you think? What is this all about? And does it tie in with the possible secret entrance that they find in this cryptic room? Entrance way. Oh, heck no. I'm not sure, but things aren't adding up here, and this is looking like the BNB I don't want to stay at. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.